new MGZS, spy shots and latest details. Nissan Juke rival will be called MGZS, and it could be revealed in China in November. The new MGZS SUV will be unveiled later next month at the Guangzhou Motor Show in China. We first spotted the car testing under the guise of a jacked-up MG3 hatchback, before spying it again just a few months later in more distinctive clothing. These images are our best look yet at MG's new baby SUV. The follow-up act to the cash K-sized MG GS will be called the ZS, and should go on show in Guangzhou on November 18, 2016. Spied here wearing a production body for the first time, the new MG SUV will be based on a shortened version of the platform from the GS. The ride height has clearly been raised over the smaller MG3 hatch, while the headlamps appear to be more raked back than they are on the larger GS. A number plate check on previous test mules also uncovered that MG was trailing a 1.0-liter petrol motor, an engine MG does currently not have in its range. If MG is developing a small three-cylinder turbo unit itself it could appear in other models within MG's lineup. According to a high-ranking MG insider, the new car will be badged MG ZS. The model will mark the revival of the nameplate last used to denote MG's version of the Rover 45, a saloon and hatchback axed in 2005. Plus, MG's head of marketing Matthew Cheney said that the explosion in popularity of subs and crossovers has meant it's a market the brand cannot ignore. Based on the GS platform also means the smaller ZS may also get the same 1.5-liter petrol engine and 6-speed manual gearbox from the larger crossover, as well as the 1.0-liter mentioned above. There's also a 7-speed DCT automatic in the GS, which could also appear on the smaller car. Fuel economy of over 5.0 mpg is likely in the lighter Juke rival, but the headline figure will be the price. With the GS starting at around 3,500 pounds less than the cash K, we expect MG's Juke to cost from around 12,000 pounds, significantly less than the Nissan. The platform also supports larger cars, which means we could see a seven-seater rival for the Nissan X-Trail in the MG lineup in the future. Since the demise of the MG TF in 2010, Fans have been crying out for a new sports car harking back to the MGA, MGB, MGF, and TF. Cheney told us that a new sports car would arrive in the future, but not for the next few years at least as the brand concentrates on more profitable sectors like the SUV market. He added that with China becoming more appreciative of sports cars, MG's parent company SAIC is warming to the idea of a new TF, but the car needs to have appeal to global markets not just the UK. The new baby crossover will form just one part of a considered product plan. By the end of 2020, MG will launch new versions of the MG3 and MG6 along with the SUV plans. MG's explorative first step into electric car motoring, the Dynamo, has also hit the buffers. Bosses seem keen on offering a simple lineup of cars powered by petrol and diesel engines rather than electric or plug-in hybrid tech while the brand is still in its early years of growth.